pistachio lover and that raspberry sauce just added a really nice depth to the pistachio marshmallow I would repurchase this and I have repurchased this in the Mario pre-order and that was, I'm sorry, that was a pretty good throw I'd say probably a three and a half or four out of five next we have Rose Girls Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and this is a old bag this was probably from 2020 I did not get the best throw out of this but I do love her pumpkin pecan waffles so I would not repurchase this if I had tried it in the old version and didn't know better <laughs> but I definitely have a fresh bag that has no problem so another good bakery in here, I will try to remember what was inside. Most of them were from um, swaps or random acts of kindness. Next we have a sample from Waxy Taffy. This was in the scent Autumn Berries and it is red currant, strawberry, cranberry, and hints of fresh green accord with vanilla spice. So I definitely got the berries and the vanilla. This was not anything super special in my opinion, but it was nice and it did throw well. Next we have Sassy Girl Aroma Five Little Pumpkins. This is one of my favorite pumpkin pecan waffle scents and it threw really well surprisingly because I believe this was from early 2021 and I would say it was a 4 out of 5 it's also blended with sugar cookies so this is basically just a really sweet version of pumpkin pecan waffles <laughs> next we have Frost Girls pumpkin pecan waffles and birthday cake this is a lovely scent but again this was from a couple years ago so the throw wasn't great it wasn't horrible I'd say it was probably a two and a half um, I do enjoy it with the birthday cake and I have repurchased this and will continue to do so another rose girls this is in summer berry delight raspberry buttercream fried ice cream waffle cone and whipped cream I love this scent I have purchased this a couple times since this has great performance for me. I would give it a 4 out of 5 for throw. I really enjoy the um, raspberry with the fried ice cream. I have smelled fried ice cream recently from a couple of other vendors, as well as Scentsy, and I find them to be a little spicy. This is not spicy. If it is any spice, I just... Um, I maybe get some like cinnamon sugar, not necessarily anything pungent, but I really enjoy that for a berry bakery scent. <laughs> I didn't realize I had melted so much of this, but it doesn't surprise me. There's another one of my favorites. My stack is going to fall over. Let me move this. Apologize for the wonky setup. I um, I have to keep my foot elevated, so I am in my wax room. This is balancing on top of a suitcase, and my tripod is next to the suitcase, um, which is in between some other drawers. So it's all very, very close together and kind of difficult. Okay, so we have this bag from Starlet Corner, and it is strawberry pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffles, and vanilla wafers. I loved this. This is a little bit older as well, from 2021. Great throw. I get really good performance from um, Ashley's Wax, and I really enjoy her blends. I find that her oils are really, really good. Um, so this was a lovely bakery, and I would repurchase. I am so sorry. My nose is also running, so that probably wasn't super <laughs> uh, great for 
frosting dipped in icy sweet milk and zucchini bread noel. This was so good. I really did get the spice in there from the, um, I'm sorry, the zucchini bread. And I really love her icy, um, sweet milk. Typically, I'm not a big, like, sweet milk person, but Kirby's is, it's just different, and I really enjoyed that, and it did throw very well. Next, we have Black Sea Barber from Hidden Row. This was nice. Um, I remember it also being kind of a clean masculine scent. I probably wouldn't repurchase. It's not um, typically one that I would gravitate towards, but I received this in a random act of kindness, and I did really enjoy it. So, I believe this is what I was using to cut my loaves on. I apologize. Next, um, I do have some non-wax empties in here that I'll go over really quick. This was a um, soap in blueberry lemonade. Great for spring, and I also really love the colors on there. And a, I got through a strawberry pound cake candle. This burned nicely. Um, I didn't get all the way down, but pretty darn close. This was, um, I want to say about a year old. And it threw beautifully. Um, I will say that I have had several candle orders come in. I will be doing more candle reviews. Unfortunately, with my foot, I'm not able to burn them as much as I was before because where I'm at is not conducive <laughs> to having candles. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to find a spot to put this glass jar. <laughs> wow, comical. Okay, so next we have Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs from Scoop Oil Wax. This was amazing. I requested this and purchased it again. Again, um, This is just a really sweet, creamy um, bakery. It It's just such a good scent on its own, but also great with other things. Next, we have a sample from Steady Bees in Sweet Like Candy. This is candied raspberries sugared plums, and a hint of floral. Again, loved it. Really great. Fruity, um, sweet, clean blend. Next we have a, this was a Geo Bar from Silky's and Strawberry Pound Cake Candy Corn. This was just a really nice strawberry pound cake blend, and it was a good throw, and I have purchased that since. Next we have Sugar Cookie from Scentsy. This is just a really great, um, I, sugar cookie scent. I don't think it's anything, like, out of this world, but, um, again, it's a great scent, um, to blend with others. I have purchased this since. Another one from Scentsy is Apple Cherry Strudel. I love this scent. I feel like this scent is one that I would read and go, mm, it just sounds generic. I love the way that this smells. It's got a little bit of spice. It's got a little bit of apple and cherry. You can almost smell that, like, crumble in the strudel. It's just amazing. Um, I can't remember how old this one was. I want to say it was at least a couple of years, and it did throw really nicely, so I was happy about that. Next, we have pumpkin cream and marshmallow from Sensationals. This reminds me of the toasted pumpkin spice from K's. I believe that's what it's called. Now I can't remember. I have my... I 
Kaiser toasted vanilla pumpkin. Anyways, it reminds me of that. It's just a really nice, um, kind of like fresh from the can pumpkin with creamy marshmallow goodness. So I will repurchase more of that when I'm able, assuming that I can get out of the house soon. <laughs> Next we have pumpkin pecan waffle strawberry pound cake from L3. Beautiful throw and definitely a repurchase. Um, next we have Good Night Moon from Rose Girls. And again, this was a two-year-old bag and it, I mean almost three. And it threw amazing. Good Night Moon is a kind of a bedtime blend in my opinion. I can't remember the exact scent notes, but it's like a minty lavender soothing scent and I have repurchased that. Next we have all the good things, or I'm sorry, all the goods. This is pumpkin pecan waffle zucchini bread sugar cookie dough. Another really great pumpkin pecan waffle blend I would repurchase. We might get through it guys. <laughs> we have another one from Rose Girls in Waffle Cone. This is just a really great um warm bakery. Um, you can almost smell that it's like hot and crunchy. I really enjoy our waffle cone. What we purchase? From Silky's we have a strawberry pound cake, pink sugar, and lucky charms. This was good. I don't think I would repurchase it because I do prefer our strawberry pound cake with straight bakery. Uh, but it was, it was good. I 